Dear scientist, my name is Hannah and I'm a seventh grader from New York City. I love exploring my community garden, especially hunting for insects. This summer, I started feeling unusually tired and had leg pain. Half of my face became paralyzed. After researching, my mom and I suspected Bell's palsy. I later learned that Bell's palsy can be a symptom of Lyme disease, so I went to my doctor, who confirmed both conditions. I was treated with an antibiotic for two weeks, and thankfully, my symptoms went away. However, I've been more cautious about spending time in the garden, fearing another tick bite. Dear scientist, what are you doing to help prevent Lyme disease? Will there ever be a way for us to enjoy nature without the fear of tick bites? Sincerely, Hannah. <laughs> My name is Rafi and I'm a, a research scientist here at Pfizer Vaccines. I've been working on a vaccine uh, to prevent Lyme disease for the last several years. Hi Rafi, my name is Lee and I'm Hannah's mom. And I'm really looking forward to talking to you and learning about what scientists are doing in the field of Lyme disease. Our focus is on uh, the development of uh, uh, vaccines for, uh, for public health. The story uh, of Hannah and patients like her is at the forefront of everything that we do. So here at Pfizer, we're working on a potential vaccine to prevent Lyme disease. The way the vaccine would work is that the person would be immunized with this protein vaccine. They would induce antibodies um, against the vaccine antigen. This vaccine actually works inside of the tick, and the way that happens is when the tick starts to feed, these antibodies are taken up into the tick along with the blood meal. When that happens, those antibodies bind to the bacteria inside of the tick and they essentially neutralize it, preventing the bacteria from moving out of the tick into the person. And in that way, the person is never infected or exposed. How far are you in that development? It sounds like something that you know, we can all get benefit from. The vaccine is actually in the last stage of development and it's in a study to see if it, if it will work in people. I'm really curious because you know, I think you are probably one of the few vaccine scientists I have met and why are you working in vaccine and what makes you passionate about the work that you do? I was passionate about human health and public health and I wanted to use science essentially and scientific uh, development to be able to improve human health and to stop infectious diseases from happening to people and make it so that people um, are able to live healthier, happier lives. Your story certainly hit a note with me as well. You know, I also have young kids. They play in the yard, you know, they enjoy time outside. Um, and I think about that often. Daily kids should be free to be kids and, uh, and, and enjoy nature and enjoy being a kid without necessarily worrying about things like this happening. And thank you so much, Rafi, for meeting me and sharing your stories and how scientists are at work to prevent Lyme disease. And I'll try to translate what we have learned here to Hannah and Listening to you and thinking about what you're doing and what your team is doing makes me feeling a little bit safer in the future. And I'm just uh, here to say thank you. Well, I really appreciate that. I'm pleased to thank Hannah for all of us as well for being willing to share her story. For all of us working to develop a potential vaccine to prevent Lyme disease, these sorts of stories are very important.